And then it would be the question of, oh, do you think you want to have more kids? Like, and the thing that we never really were able to, or I didn't really talk about, um, was that we wanted to have more kids and we couldn't. And then the people who did know what we were going through, you know, in, infer in the infertility world, like a lot of, I've had friends who have gone through it who don't have, haven't had any children who have been alive and then they get pregnant and it's like, oh, finally it's worked out. And I'm sure that no matter what you have complicated feelings. And I do think that there is a piece of me that felt like it doesn't replace Emerson. It's not like, oh good, now everything's good. Um, but I also appreciated so much the support we had received during Emerson's life and the love people showed for us. And I understood that their relief and their excitement was really just a way also of, sorry, of, of showing how much they loved us and how much they loved Emerson and how happy they were for us as a family. And so I think that there was a piece of me that felt like I couldn't express the part that felt complicated or the part that felt sad or the part that felt um, conflicted because I just felt so grateful for all that everyone had done for us. I didn't want to be like, well, yeah, we're grateful for all your help and all this, but it's still sad, you know? And so I just felt like this tension 